Hello, and welcome to Battery Hacker. In, in this video, we are going to find out how long a 12-volt lithium battery can power a TV, and why the answer is not as simple as it looks. I'll also share a simple trick to make your setup run more efficiently. Let's get started. First, we need to figure out how much power your TV actually uses. Usually, you can find that information on a small label at the back of the TV. If it's not there, check the user manual or search your TV model online. And if you still can't find it, you can use a smart plug or an energy consumption meter to measure it directly. Let's assume your TV consumes 50 watts. If you run it for one hour, that means it will use 50 watt hours of energy. Simple enough, right? How much power does your TV consume? Let us know in the comments so we can learn from each other. Now, here's what many people forget the idle power consumption, and the efficiency of the inverter. For example, my 600-watt inverter draws about 20 watts even when it's just sitting idle. 20 watts doesn't sound like much, but over time it adds up. Next, the inverter itself isn't 100% efficient. Most inverters convert DC to AC with around 90% efficiency. So if the TV uses 50 watt-hours, we have to account for the inverter losses. That means we multiply by a factor of 1.11, and the result becomes 56 watt hours per hour to run the TV. Are you still with me? Good, because in the next part, we'll put everything together into one complete calculation to find out the total runtime of the battery. Now let's calculate how much energy a 12 volt, 100 amp hour lithium battery can actually store. To find that, we multiply the battery's voltage by its capacity. So, 12.8 volts multiplied by 100 amp hours gives us 1,280 watt hours of usable energy. Normally, it's better to use about 80% of your battery to make it last longer. But even if you use it fully every time, a lithium battery can still give around 5,000 cycles, with about 80% capacity left after many years. That means if you cycle it every day, it can last roughly 13 years. By the way, if you have a 12-volt 100-amp lead-acid battery, then this becomes the formula. You will have 600 watt-hours of usable capacity. Now let's put everything together. Our TV uses 56 watt-hours every hour after including inverter efficiency. The inverter itself also consumes 20 watt-hours when it's idle. So, the total power consumption per hour becomes 56 plus 20 equals 76 watt-hours. Next, divide the total battery capacity by that hourly consumption. 1,280 watt-hours divided by 76 watt-hours equals 16.8 hours. That's about 16 hours and 48 minutes of runtime before the battery runs out. But we can make this setup even more efficient. The inverter changes DC power into AC, and most TVs convert that AC right back into DC again. So energy is lost twice during conversion. However, if your TV uses a power brick, you can use a DC to DC converter instead. Take a look at the specifications on the power brick. It will say something like this. That means you need a 12-volt to 19-volt DC boost converter that can handle around 57 watts. If your TV doesn't have a power brick, then you can't do this. The DC to DC converter also has about 90% efficiency, similar to an inverter. With this setup, the power consumption is 56 watt-hours, and by applying the same formulas, we get a total runtime of 22.8 hours. That's about 6 hours, or 35% more than if we used an inverter. That's the difference smart power use can make. Thanks for watching Battery Hacker. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more practical battery and solar tips.